All right, so now that we're inside the editor, we can go through and start animating this image. So if I click on camera over here, and if I just zoom in a bit like so, and start moving it around, you'll be able to see now we've got this really nice looking um, effect, okay? And we can do heaps of things like adding in different text images, we can add particles and things like that. So let's go through and I'll go click onto layers and I'm gonna go add some text. So let's just call this one, let's say zoo. And I'll adjust the letter spacing like so. And I'll just position this a little bit smaller and also I'll add some extra text saying now. Nah. Open. Okay. And I'll bring this down like so and just zoom in a bit. All right, so I've got some of my text here and I'm also gonna go through and add a butterfly. So I'm gonna fix and I'll go add this butterfly here. And I'll just drag this down and position it on the branch, maybe something like that. Now what we can see, if, if I just go through and show you something, if I go to camera over here, if I move this around, you'll be able to see that the objects are in different um, 3D space, okay? So what we want is this butterfly to be on the same, uh, you know, kind of, access as this branch so that it doesn't look like it's moving around so if i drag this butterfly and place it just on top of the owl well, you're about to see that we've got it on the branch and if i move it around now you can see it's it stayed on the branch like so if i place it at the back for example if i drag this over you have to see it's behind now um, the branch so i should put it on top like that also with the text i want to bring these into the same kind of alignment like so and that's looking really good Cool, so what I'm gonna do is go and reset this camera and I might just zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna to go to particles as well and add some particles. So let's go turn on and I've got this, this uh, leaf selected and I'm gonna make the leaf a bit bigger, leaves a bit bigger and also I might add some blur to them as well. You can adjust things like the contrast as well as the color. So you can you know play around with the color like this. and. Yeah, that looks quite good as it is. And what we're gonna do is just zoom in a little bit more. I'm gonna rotate it maybe like this kind of angle and position like so. Okay, so here's my first position. Now what I'm gonna do is click on add keyframe. You can also double click to add a keyframe like this or delete it like that. But I've got a keyframe, I'm gonna drag it to about five seconds. And now I'm gonna set the second position that I want it to end on, okay? So let's just go in like this. And I might just bring it across slightly and also rotate it slightly like so. And it's looking quite cool. So let's just come in. I might also bump up the size of the leaves like that. And yeah, we've got this coming in from here to here. And let's just preview that. Okay, it's looking really cool. So we can add another keyframe by clicking on add keyframe and we can set a different position. If we want it to loop, so start from and in the same position, what you want to do is double click to add that same position keyframe, so then the same position, and then just drag it over here like this and just delete this one. And this will go in and go out and it'll create a really nice looping animation, um, especially if you're using it on social media, you can have it you know, continually looping like that and that's looking really cool. So that's how you can go through and you know create some really nice animations. Uh, yeah, have a go and play around with it. And once you're ready, you can go through and click on publish and select you know where you want to save it to and publish your video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to try it out and have fun creating.